And now at five, it's quite the sight in the water off Virginia Key. A small plane made an emergency landing there less than 24 hours ago. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is there live tonight with the effort to remove that plane from the water. Ted? Elliot, that's not going to be an easy task. About an hour ago, a crew got here to try and get that plane out of the water. Let's take a look at it. You can see it's just a few feet off of Virginia Key here. There's the plane out there. You can follow that strap on the plane all the way over to a truck. What they were trying to do was kind of pull it into shore. Uh, they haven't been able to just yet. Once they get it to shore, they're going to put it onto a trailer where they can eventually take the wings off and transport it over to another location. And that's where the investigation can begin. Cell phone video showing the moments right after a Cessna 172 ditched into the ocean just feet offshore of Virginia Key. And a cyclist uh, screamed and shouted out that a plane had crashed into the water. That's when me and my team uh, rushed to the scene. Amanda Dominguez is with Miami Ocean Rescue. She and her co workers were there when it happened, racing to the rescue to help the two men who were on board. As soon as I started walking around this area right here, that's when I saw about two people come out kind of halfway through uh, the shoreline and they just, they made it out and I was helping them, assisting them out of the water and began assessing them. They say the, they had like an engine failure. Yesello Afaro was there too. He spoke to the men on board who said they had a mechanical problem before landing that plane on the water. The only thing I heard from the guy was uh, that he moved the plane a little bit to the right because he was about to crash. According to Flight Radar 24, the plane took off from Miami Executive Airport just after 6.30 Thursday evening, flew out over the ocean, turning north, flying near Miami Beach. Then it turned around, heading back south before going into the water just off Virginia Key. That blue line showing the rapid descent to the water. The entire flight lasting just 20 minutes. He did say it was a mechanical failure and he safely made an emergency landing. Miami Fire Rescue telling us after that emergency landing, there were a few tense moments as the plane made contact with the water. When they landed, started to nose dive into the water at first, but then it leveled itself back out and they were able to make it out. So another look at that plane, uh, the effort right now is to try and get it out of the water. What we've been told is that the front gear, the front landing gear, is actually acting as kind of a, like an anchor. It's kind of stuck in the sand, so they're not able to get it out. From what we understand, what they're going to try and have to do is put in floats underneath it and kind of float it up and then pull it to shore. Once they get it to shore, that's when they would be able to detach the wings, to detach uh, the rear appendage there, and put it onto a trailer to take it over to another location so they can uh, begin the investigation. So that's not going to be a very easy task that will likely take until tomorrow to get that job done. At this point, the FAA is on the scene. The NTSB will also help out with this investigation. Live in Virginia Key, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.